There you go. Huh, okay. This is the true original. And someone yelled at me for not letting Andrew play on, like, true original <laughs> stuff. And this is, to be fair, this isn't even the actual client. So I guess I'm doubly bad there. It's weird because it's nice to have it blown up big, but, like, different sizes have different advantages. And honestly, this ran in your browser. So when this came out, the idea that you could just play this from anywhere in the world didn't have to be, like, your PC. You could just log in anywhere. It was a big deal. It's definitely probably one of the biggest reasons for the game's success. Open the quest journal. Oh, I see. Now you have the journal open. I'll tell you a, a bit about it. At the moment, all the quests are shown in red, which means that you have not started them yet. When you start a quest, it will change color and be green when you finish. Cool. The starter quests are easy to find. Look out for the star icons on the minimap, just like the one you should see marking my house. Oh, yes, I see it. So quests are actually uh, really hard to explain if you haven't played RuneScape before, because like there's some of like the biggest content that can be released. Generally, anytime there's a new area, you have to do a quest to get to it. So it's not like something like or Skyrim where it's just like you're doing quests for the sake of questing. Sometimes quests are like designed to like suck super hard. Because you're trying to like overcome this giant challenge to get like the thing you need. Or if you do all quests, you get a really good cape. This is a cool cape. Yeah. Ooh, it's a rock. Ooh, they, I can mine. Yeah, they have some really cool environments. What's nice is you can interact with it, basically anything in the game. Because that's just how it's designed. It's part of like examining and interacting with everything. It's actually kind of cool. It's like how you can... It's almost like Minecraft where you can like make everything yourself. One of the new modes they added that's like super well liked is Iron Man mode, which lets you not trade with anyone at mm -hmm. all. And like, you can't, if someone attacks the same monster as you, you don't get drops. No help at all, you, you stand alone. And if you do ultimate Iron Man mode, you'll, you don't get a bank, so you only have what you can carry in your inventory. But, if you've heard a lot of people, it apparently like revive the game. Because instead of going to like the GE, which is like your eBay of RuneScape, and just being like, I want ten of these, here's a thousand gold. If you wanted, like, armor, you had to, like, level up, go gather materials, and you had to make it for yourself. So, I think that's what you might like more, even, is just, like, exploring the world, like, and get making everything you need. Because, mm -hmm. like, that's one of the things that's really cool, and, like, as a kid, what I enjoyed about it was, just, I just loved exploring. I remember I got a membership, which is, like, the subscription in this game. I got, like, two months or something? Three months, that was it, because you had a pre rate card, and that's how I got it around our parents <laughs> so but I remember like I had all this and I like I could have like made a whole thing and like about getting money and make having fun nah I just ran around like oh my god this area is so cool cause there's some cool stuff when you get out of free to play like really awesome design stuff what's the difference between mining and prospecting prospect tells you what kind of ore is in the rock uh, and then mining mines it oh I see so and then it takes a little while until they do it can you, like, queue up commands, like, click on a lot oh. of stuff, and then, oh. <laughs> yep. That's no fun. <laughs> well, that's one of the things that keeps the game, like, interactive. I mean, yeah, wouldn't that be great? The issue is that there's some things that, if you could queue up, would just be too OP. <laughs> you have to use it with a furnace. How do I... So click on them? Click on this? Yeah, click on them, and you'll... There'll be a white... Hit use. Use tin ore. And then use it on the furnace. See up here on the left, on the top left here. Oh, oh. Yeah, Andrew still forgets that. And then use copper. No, it put it in for you because that's the only thing you use those two for. So oh, I thought you had to melt them together to make rock. It did, but it since you put the tin in, it knew you had the copper. Oh. And that's because that's the only thing that it's used for. Oh, I see. Cool. But like later on, like I know for me, like if I'm training combat or something, I can literally like click once every 20 minutes. You know, and they're trying to prevent that. It used to be once every six hours. You could, if you set everything up right. Mm -hmm. They're like, we kind of want people to actually play our game, <laughs> yeah. not not just be a a six hour click simulator. Now you have the smithing menu open. You will see a list of all the things you can make. Only a dagger can be made at your skill level. Okay, one bronze dagger. That's one. Four. Yeah. yeah, that's all you can make is a dagger. You have more stuff to make it, but you don't have a high enough smithing level. Oh, I see. Oh, and I finished the area. You have to go on to the combat area now. One thing that's interesting is smithing and mining and all that. Is That's one of the oldest skills in RuneScape. I talked how like a lot of this game's geography is balanced around XP rates. Contrary to what you would think, usually uh, anvil to make stuff with bars and 
furnaces, they're usually miles apart. Just because that's how they balanced it. Because when the game came out and that was like the main profitable skill, that's how they control the economy. Whereas now it's not as important, but it's just a pain. Ugh. Rude. <laughs> you actually are going to meet him again if you keep playing. It looks like he has a Triforce on his head. <laughs> yeah, you've been playing uh, Legend of Zelda. I have. Ocarina of Time, I should preface. It's your first time through that, so yeah. That's a good point. There's actually... I think there's a... Uh, there's at least one Legend of Zelda reference in RuneScape. One thing I do like about RuneScape is they totally reward uh, exploring. I think just recently in the QA this week, there's someone that was like yelling at the devs like, why is this enemy here? It doesn't make any sense. And he's like, well, actually, if you went all the way through to like the end of the dungeon instead of just killing the guys in the front, there's a dude with a book that explains why this happened, and there's all the lore reasons. Not that RuneScape has the tightest lore. I feel like RuneScape has a very D&D lore, where it's like, you define the big stuff, and then the small stuff are just kind of like, whatever. You know, it's like, oh, we, we need more monsters to balance, so we'll just like arbitrarily add these monsters in. You know? It's an interesting beast, to say the least. Because like, the tutorial covers a lot of the basic mechanics, but it's hard to describe the actual world itself and how the mm -hmm. game operates, you yeah. know? It's like how in Skyrim, if you just, like, just read about all the skills and all the NPCs and stuff, you'd miss out on, like, the actual way the game plays, like, getting launched into orbit by a giant. You know, like, that's not lore-wise, but <laughs> part of the game, where the NPCs being super weird. Oh, I meant to remove it. You can also just click on it. Left click. Oh. It was another thing where usually the top item on the list you can just left click to do. So you need to go to your inventory tab if you want to do that. Uh, so like you can just like click wheel and it's like wheel. Oh. And it goes straight there. And he wants to use button machine. Okay. Flashing swords. Okay. Select the type of attack your character will use. Different monsters have different weaknesses. If you hover your mouse over the buttons, you will see the type of XP you will receive when using each type of attack. Stab. Oh, that's... Yeah. So okay. what are your thoughts so far? I'm going to give your views. It's for, I don't know. I don't have many thoughts. Is there anything that's changed from what you've expected? Like, did you... I don't know if you saw me use, using, like, WSD for something else, maybe? I don't... But I'm surprised mm -hmm. you didn't know that you clicked move. Um... I mean, to be fair, yeah. like, I've always been, like... You were, like, playing Xbox and I was, like, playing RuneScape or something. Or I was, yeah. So you've never, like, sat down and, like, watched a bunch. But, uh, yeah, I feel like you could, uh, there's some things you appreciate. You saw some of my RuneScape videos I put out. Even then you're like, I don't play this game and I get this more than this guy that's yelling at you in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So in a classic uh, RPG, you gotta start with killing rats. Oh, of It's course. a very classic thing. It's just like an Oblivion. Right? Yeah. This game's easier, way better than Oblivion, though. I don't think they're on the same, like... Oh, no, <laughs> like... I'm getting killed. No, you're, you're good. You, you only got hit once. Oh. He's almost dead. Okay. You gotta risk to... it. If you, you to... die, you do drop all your stuff, though. I'm trying to, like, read the directions you can eat, and talk. You can eat your uh, bread and heal. Oh, he killed it. There we go. There you go. You only need to kill one. Oh. He'll go back and he'll teach you about range combat. So you just go through the door again. Where is the door? If you look on the minimap, it's the red thing, the red bar. Oh, there we go. It's hard to see, but it's one of those things where they're never gonna, they will never tell you that. And that's one reason why he's like, that's an actual guy. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Oh, there is the combat. <laughs> yeah. Structure. There's a lot of stuff they'll never tell you, and I think that's why they push you to be like, you should go to the knowledge base outside the game, because we're not going to tell you all this. I think Tutorial Island actually took a long time to develop for how simple it seems. And anymore, they can't, like, touch it unless they absolutely need to, just because it's such a, like, beloved piece of content. Now you have the bow and some arrows. Before you can use them, you'll need to equip them. Okay. Remove... You can just oh, swap them if you go to your inventory. Uh... So, like, if you just equip them, you'll, like, unequip anything that conflicts with. Oh, but I there see. goes your shield. Yeah. Okay, to attack, right click on the monster and select attack. Okay, so... Attack. So you can actually shoot over the fence. <laughs> it's weird, unless you do PvP, this is about as deep as this is, combat's gonna go. <laughs> but if you do PvP, you have all the same interfaces, 
way more complex. It's actually kind of like a uh, Twitch-based uh, game. Mm-hmm. Oddly enough, like uh, like I was talking, I was reading up on one day today about some like strategy in PvP because I don't PvP. And what it was is, for example, one of the more complex things. You can just follow the red arrow on your mini map or the yellow. I was trying to get the bones. You have to open up there. Essentially, what the strategy was is you would get a crossbow that fires really slowly, but due to the way the game engine works, it tells you like whether your attack hits or not like instantly. It's not opening. Yeah, you can't go in. Oh. It's telling you to go on because it doesn't want you like grinding up stats here. Because people totally do that. But anyway, the idea was like you would like fire this slow crossbow, and then you look if your XP that you got from it is super high, you know you're going to hit him really hard. So you would, like, fire the aerial and s- sprint at the dude and, like, pop your biggest attack. Bef- so they both hit, like, right away. And it was super, like, you got to react instantly. Mm-hmm. Within a second. If you want to go for, like, the kill. And, I don't know, it's, like, weirdly interesting like that. Yes, I would like to access my bank account. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh... When you're ready, close the window and visit the poll booth indicated. This is a new change. Use poll booth. One of the really cool things about OSRS is it's all the big stuff players have to vote on and it has to be passed with a 75% poll. That's That's cool. That's prevent them from doing something like, you know what, we want more money, microtransactions, or Mm -hmm. just making like a really bad update. Like there's an update that changed combat that made it more in-depth and interesting, but that's not what people wanted. Even though it was probably a cool update, it would just like completely ruin the game for a lot of people. So that's to prevent that, and that's actually led for a really cool game. So old yeah. school. This is a poll booth. And this is the poll that's actually live right now. So wait, but I can't vote in it. Yeah, it's done. I think. Oh. Plus, you have to be a member. Oh, that so. makes sense. Okay, over to the door. So tell me what you think. I really want to get your reactions. So um, let me know kind of like what your impressions. This is what you thought. Is there uh, anything? Yeah, I what think was so. what was what you expected? Like, how does combat work out? Um, is that what you expected, or is it do you expect something more in depth? I mean, I guess it's just so hard to like shift to like the point and click because I'm so used to yeah. like actually like moving around to fight. But... You know what I did when I first yeah. started playing? I very remember spawning after the tutorial, and you know how on your combat menu you had the options of stances. Uh-huh. I thought I had to click those to attack. I didn't <laughs> understand why it wasn't working. So I'm dying. I'm like, oh god, block, block. It's not working. <laughs> I would die. And then I like looked it up. I'm like, this guy isn't even clicking anything, and he's murdering this rat. <laughs> oh, I, it's <laughs> it's just the passive stance you're changing. God. But it's weird because like you know people that play it. Like when I first started, I just like stumbled across it. And then you meet people at school to play it, but it's just, like it's a whole new world. Like, when you're more familiar with the game, I have some great stories I think you'll like. But it's just, like, it's an entirely different experience, and I think that's how a lot of people got into it. You can also hit spacebar to advance it. Whoa. Oh. Okay, continue. I think okay. that was an addition. Follow the path to the chapel. Okay. But I think you can like it, because what really makes RuneScape is the community. And I've talked to you just about different things that happen in the community, you know? It's just interesting. Mm-hmm. It's, for what it is, it's like a very reactive game and not technically a lot of content compared to another game, but it just feels so alive. Like, mm-hmm. once you get to, like, the Grand Exchange, it's just so awesome. And they've been talking about adding either to uh, the Tutorial Island or another, the Stronghold of Security area they have, an anti-scamming measure, because that's something that always comes up is, like, technically this person isn't cheating, but just, like, they trick someone into a scam. Mm-hmm. And, but the devs are like, we want to, and we hope it's effective, but ultimately, like, if some dude asks you to go into the PvP area and drop 30 million coins, maybe if you don't figure out that that's a scam, <laughs> maybe we can't help you <laughs> with just one text box. Mm-hmm. Oh, spells. I always thought spells were really cool, because they're almost like, I don't know, mysterious when we first start. So those are the Iron Man tutors. If you want to be an Iron Man, you talk to them. Oh, I see. But I would not recommend being an Iron Man for your first account. But uh, I think a lot of people love Iron Man because it's like a speedrun where you have to like minimize your time doing stuff and you're like, 
oh, you need to save this amulet because you're not going to see this amulet again for 200 hours. Stuff like that. Okay. Rune strike. Yeah. So you have runes, which are your ammunition. Oh, I see. And so he gave them to you, so now you it highlights the spell so you can use it. Need to go to eat the chicken. Oh, oops. It's just saying that. It does that because it can't actually get in, but it's still trying to path bind to it. You can just like if you move the camera up, you can click right in front of the chicken. No, that works. There's like a gate right here. So just, like, oh, oh, oh I see. Yeah, there you go. You can see, like, this is why, uh... Like, imagine if you had to run that line yourself with the arrow keys. Mm -hmm. Super annoying. Actually, I think the pathfinding runescape's pretty damn good, actually. How do I know if I open the door? You can't. It, they're stuck in there. Oh, I see. It's how they so. force you to do magic. Okay. So... You have to, like, click on the spell. Spell. And then you click on the chicken. God damn it! <laughs> This happens. <laughs> it's part of the game. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you that. Uh, Actually, I killed myself with that. It was like you're in this temple. All right, pyramid exactly. I kept clicking on the wrong side of the trap, so I just kept walking through it. And I'm like, damn, it. no, 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 and I just died. It was like, god damn it. But you're in the world. Mm, are those other people? No. If you look on your minimap, white dots are other people. Yellow dots are NPCs. Oh, I see. Here's the long bridge guy. So if you want to cut it here, that was the okay. end of the tutorial. So, what we'll run? What are your thoughts? Um, I don't know. I think it's about as I expected. Yeah. Do you? Is there anything you felt like the tutorial was good for or bad for? Um. I mean, you have, it probably won't be until you do stuff. You have me here too. Yeah. Like it is isn't particularly helpful about being like you need this to do this and click on this and this is how you click or move. I feel like it's one of those things where it's like, obviously I understand how a friends list works, but I, I don't understand how, like, other stuff works. Well, so the issue you know. is, I think, that a lot of games, like, I think there's a proven statistic that you need to, like, hook them in, like, the first hour or so. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you could, RuneScape would, tell like, to actually explain it would be super text-heavy. So you want to actually get them into the game, but then you can't sit and actually do a bunch of useful tutorial stuff. Mm -hmm. So does it look like it does when I play <laughs> I'm trying to think, it's like, what are your thoughts of. on it? Tell me anything about it. What are your opinions of RuneScape? What's it, how do you summarize it in a nutshell? Just um, without you know now. RuneScape is a game, and it's like medieval, and it's a good game to play while you do other stuff, which I like. Okay. All right. Yeah, what's it ab about? Tell me about it. What's... You're an adventurer. That's good. I'm not, I'm not like, giving you, like, I'm not trying to, like, trip you up. I'm just curious, like, what it means to you. Like, obviously, like, I know some people go in, like... I'm going to do so many quests and all this, and then you realize it's almost more of an economy simulator. You know what it reminds me of? It's when I played Fable 2, and like I was like, yeah, I'm going to play this game, and then all I did was sit and chop wood and like blacksmith, and then I was done. <laughs> I well, feel like that's what this game will be, because I like it, that stuff. It totally gets you where it's like, I could go quest, but I could also just train up my combat, and then the quest would be easier. But uh, yeah, you think you're going to keep playing it? Uh, I'm not, I don't I think know. you're going to get up and binge it, but it's one of those things where it's like, all the time, anytime I like, oh, I'm playing like Destiny or editing a video, I'll like, I'll tab over, I'll do a little bit of RuneScape. Mm -hmm. As you get further into it, it's a little bit easier to like pick and choose. Because it's a big world and there's like just years of content layered into this game. So it's really cool to kind of read about. And it has a decent lore too, if you really want to get into that. So yeah, I'll let you explore. What, any okay. other thoughts? What was, uh, what do you think of RuneScape when you first saw me start playing it? I thought that like, it... like, what is that? It wasn't like that, but it, <laughs> I guess it, initially I was like, why are you playing something? Like, I thought RuneScape would be more updated. I didn't really... I, you yeah. explained to me the difference, like the old school. Yeah, that totally looks like... like if you just like picked this game, it's like, this looks like, like yeah. terrible. Oh my god. But a lot of people like the old graphics because like, it's nostalgic and stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, a lot of people like... they The biggest thing for them is to recreate them when they were 12 in like 2007 or what, what have you. Mm -hmm. That's what they wanted out of it, you know? So it's, it's definitely like an interesting oddity. It's more than any game I know. It's one of a kind, you know. Really weird backstory, really uh, interesting development history, and just the mechanics are like. I think I made a point about this in one of my videos. Like, 
I don't think the game itself is actually that good. It's just somehow... Ooh, you have a random. Click on the cat. Evil Bob. Come with me if you like fishing. Yeah. Or has this... Hmm. <laughs> this is a good way. Yeah, yes. I don't... Why? It doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah, I know. It's a random. So you just do it. So that you, it's called a random event. You do what he asks you and you get a reward. Okay. So he's a cat. <laughs> and this is one of the things they do to uh, deal with bots. In the past, these were not optional. Because if you hit, take a bot who has like a script with their mouse to click in certain spots, and you take them away from their trees and put them here, they're trapped here. Because <laughs> they're not an actual person. So, I, what do I do? So, he won't tell you this, but you're supposed to talk to his like uh, slave. Oh. And she'll tell you what kind of fish he likes. And you have to go catch the fish. Oh, okay. Except this isn't RuneScape. This is Scape Rune. So you catch <laughs> uh, cooked fish, and you uncook them and feed it to them. Mm, I see. It's one of the random things of the randoms. This is another thing about the kind of like, weird culture of a game. It's just like... Uh, so you have to look at the statue. Memorize that statue. Okay. Because that's the kind he likes, and go find that statue. This is perfect. You can use your uh, new fishing skills that you learned. Yeah. What's nice is he'll actually give you a pretty hefty chunk of experience for fishing or for magic. That's not the right one. It's just weird, like having you like do the randoms for the first time. That's another thing I'd love to capture: is like your first time doing like the pinball game, or your first time doing um, the maze mystery box. A lot of these, though, like I said, are, they're mainly just to deter bots. Mm -hmm. So they're usually like, here's an image, pick the one that doesn't belong. It's super easy for you, but impossible for bots. But they actually got uh, voted out, because people didn't like them anymore. So now they got rid of all the aggressive ones, and then the rest of the randoms were made optional. And some of them are still worth doing. Like This one's always worth doing, because it gives you a huge chunk of experience. Other ones, not so much. I don't want to eat it. No, you can't. Don't worry. Right click it. Use? Yeah. Eat this? You're probably... You're the first person to come through this with this little experience. <laughs> I can't believe it spawned a random immediately out of the gate like that. Did it do anything? Yeah, look at it. It's blue now in your inventory. Oh, okay. And now it's raw and you give it to Evil Bob. So he's essentially blocking the portal and you have to feed him the fish. Okay. And you can talk to him all you want. Well, I don't really want to talk to him. Hmm. How do I give it to him? Use it. It's very like a uh, click-based adventure like that. You think about something like Mist, where it's like, use everything on everything just to mm -hmm. find the solution. Because eventually you will. So now you can go through the portal. Okay. Oh, I like that I do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good job. High five. Yay! Anything else you want to say about it before we cut this? I don't want to go too long. Um, I don't think so. You want to make some more videos in the future? Yeah, sure. Awesome. So, this is Grant. This is Ellie. If you want to see more, or if you have anything you want Ellie to try and do without her any knowledge, let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. <laughs>